lot of balance. We're looking there on the screen at Juha Hanninen up over the bridge, the Finnish driver, one of the two, sharing with Tom, Tom Christensen for Team Nordic. Oh, oh. he's nearly ruled it! That's Pastrana going very, very hard indeed through that tricky chicane, and he gets it up to two on the two wheels. It's a sequential box. He can't find his verse. Keep clicking down, mate. There you go. No that, real damage done. Like coming up right behind him in the, with the green flashes on the side is uh, Juha Hannon. Has this one in the bag. He can just follow him round. Well, he what likes it shift. on two wheels. That's what he knows best. No extra points, I'm afraid, for sure, Portning here. Now, Hannon can just hang it out because he can see the quarry ahead of him. Although this is sort of a pursuit race, it's not over if he catches it, because yeah. remember, time still counts. And particularly if everybody are tied at the end of this on three wins, which we could have, then remember, only the top two go through. So Hannanen, look at the eyes of Hannanen on the right-hand side of the screen. He knows that this time is going to be important, and he's pushing very, very hard. So he's in the slipstream, John. <laughs> what was the time? I'm not sure it's come up because the cars went across the line so quickly. I've got a race time of... Uh, you haven't yet? No, because Pastrana hasn't finished. Well, I've got an 11.6 here on the screen for Hannanen, which is not a super quick time for the scorer, but he did have those yellow flags. It's a win, however. And that gives Christensen and Hannanen, the Team Nordic pairing, three wins out of four outings, beaten only by Sebastian Augier so far. Yes, I'm afraid our time has got very confused. It's coming up at 54 seconds for elapsed time, but I did see a 1 minute 14 come up on the screen fleetingly. Okay. So waiting for the cumulative time. Now, let's see where it went wrong, shall we, for Travis. He's a little bit too far over the kerb, got the power on, can't get the car to straighten up, and it's four-wheel drive. Yeah. So that right front wheel drove it, scrabbled up over the top of the tyre barrier. Look at that sensational camera position. Derek Bell knows all about it. 